How about it, y'all? You got hog. I'm your Southern Diablo 4 resource. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm about 80, 80 or more hours into Diablo 4. It's actually officially launched now. And I've played in single player and I've played in multiplayer. And y'all, there's some glaring things that need to be fixed. I'm talking about ASAP, ASAP. <laughs> Yeah, so if they don't want the game to become unfun, it's already happened for a lot of folks. Um, if they want people to continue playing this for a long time and actually drop Diablo 2 and actually drop Diablo 3 like they want them to to come to this game, there's some immediate changes that need to be made uh, right now. And I'm talking about things that they said were going to happen uh, in all these developer live streams and all this stuff that haven't happened. I'm talking about uh, group play and stuff like that that they talked about all this game was was a group play game and and social and all this there's some changes need to be made there um the clunkiness and the just the atrociousness of some of these characters has to be changed and the balancing and the environment they got a lot of work to do so let's dive into it and see what I, my opinions are what i found out uh first first opinion uh this feels like a an unfinished game now that we actually got to play the whole game um, I see now why they didn't let us progress farther in the beta because you're going to continue to do the same thing because of the level scaling. And what I mean is you're going to find an item and in five levels, you're going to find another item and in five levels, you're going to find another item and in five levels, you're going to find another item. Um, you never have the feeling that you can actually be more powerful unless you're playing a rogue or a sorcerer. Uh, those are the two kind of OP classes right now. I know a lot of people are saying that about Barb as well, but um, I think post nerf, they are not as OP. We're running with a really good player. He's struggling with his Barb. Um, I mean, he's, he's there to provide kind of supports, but uh, y'all, there's two characters right now that are dealing all the damage in group play too. And that's not play your own way. That's not do whatever you want. That's all the developers talked about for months and months was this is a play your own way game, but yet you can't play your own way. It, it doesn't make any sense. If the games truly play your own way, every character should be able to deal damage. Every character should be able to do what the rogue's doing right now. Y'all, it's insane. We pull up to like a tier 30 nightmare dungeon in, in world tier four. And I just stand there like this as a druid because I can't do shit. And the only thing that I bring to the party is a, uh, a damage reduction shout that reduces the damage dealt by 70%. They don't even need it. So what else is silly too is the world boss. The scaling for the world tier four bosses is like non-existent. So it might take you a long time on the world tier three boss. And then you go to the world tier four boss and it's insta melt. So... The balancing issues are huge in the, in the game. They do this immediate nerf to the, the couple of classes, but they don't, they don't fix anything else. And I'm talking about like resource generation, especially for Druid. There's no passive regeneration and you get one, two, three. That's all you get. Trace three core skills. It doesn't matter. I know some of y'all going to say, well, you're not using this and you're not using that. That's not play your own way. So if it's play your own way, but then I have to go use these certain skills and this certain specific build, then it's not play your own way. Like it's silly. It really is. And, and they're more worried about the cosmetic shop. Make sure that works right. Then they're worried about making sure the game is fun for everybody. So what happens in a group is because the players are not balanced, the group will get ahead of the slowest player. So the slowest player is nonstop always behind. And that slower player is not getting the extra experience bonus because you're not near your party while they're killing them. So not only are you missing out on the item drops, you're missing out on the extra experience. You can't kill anything because you're a druid or whatever other tune that can't do shit. You're always out of resources and it's just less than mediocre. So literally like yesterday, I spent all day teleporting back and forth to my party and the biggest complaint that i have is the grouping and the party system in this game uh, and a lot of people have complained about this also 
there's no way to group. So you sold the game as a social game, an open world game and all this, but you don't have a way for people to find a group, which means that people have to go to Discord to find a group, which by the way, if you need a group and need a community and stuff like that to run with the House of Hog, we ain't mile, we wild links in the description below. We'd love to join you. Have you join our community? So that's the only way to get around them is joining discords. There's, there's no nothing. There's no search function for people. There's no, Hey, you know, if I see this guy right here, be like, Hey, you want to group up? There's none of that. None of that exists. Okay. It's been, it's been available in every other thing. Every other game, well, maybe not in Diablo 3, was there a looking for group? Yeah, you could just go do a natural game, right? But it's messed up, is my point. And the second part of that is when you're in town like this, and you, you guys have seen it if you played in a group, you have the different portals open. That's the only way that you can get to your part. So if you're in East Egypt trying to get to your party because you're in perma wear bear form and you can't do anything because you slow as Christmas. You can't just like in Diablo three hover over your party's uh, player icon in the left corner and right click and go teleport to player. You can't do that. You don't have that option anymore. Now you have to teleport to town, wait for the portal to open, go in that loading screen, Wait for you to come back to town. Now, meanwhile, everybody's waiting on your ass and they get sick of it. Let me tell you right now, they get tired of waiting and they move on and you get tired of playing and you get tired of teleporting. It's real bad. So then you go back to town then you click on their portal. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes like last night I was having to go to another town and then re portal back to my party, but it's, it, 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 it's so inefficient and for a Diablo player to be inefficient, it's madness. So what it boils down to is the game is just unbalanced, y'all, 100%. Um, I feel like it wasn't play tested. I feel like the devs didn't do any playing whatsoever on some tunes. Um, or if they did, they played it single player. So the only way to do damage as a druid is to go play single player. That's the only, only, only way to feel like you're having fun. But then when you look at all your other buddies, their levels are 10, 15 levels higher than you because they're able to do massive amounts of, of damage. The only the only tune right now that's doing traditional Diablo style damage, fantasy power style damage is Rogue. That's it. And you know it's going to get the nerf hammer, maybe not. But um, the whole game's going to be consistent of rogues and sorcerers. Come on. So I don't know what's going to happen, but all I know is that my tune and a lot of other tunes are so reliant on spirit, it's insane. And then it just turns into a, a, a cast a generator, cast a generator, cast a generator, cast a generator, and a spirit, a spirit spender. Cast, 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 power. Cast, 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 power. That That's not fun. That's not at all anywhere near fun. Diablo 2, you actually had a way to use a mana potion and you had a way to regenerate your mana and it came back, it really wasn't a problem. But when you limit a character to spirit and cooldowns, I mean, y'all, the Druid, all it does, it's slow, it lives on cooldown and it has no spirit. It doesn't, it, it sucks. So it, it's it's really disappointing to see the balance in it. It's really disappointing to see, um, they just, I don't know, it just feels like an unfinished game at this point. And that's why they're trying to hire more people and get all this in here and all this. So it's just very difficult. It's, uh, it's very reliant on what class you pick. Kind of the other balancing issue that I'm having is, uh, the drop rates for aspects and stuff for items. Um, if you have a character that's a hundred percent reliant on aspects, then you shouldn't make the aspects so hard to drop or at least make them available in all the dungeons because it like, this druid, for example, the only way to overcome the spirit cost is to find this one aspect that you can't find. I found it one time in 80 hours and I accidentally salvaged it because I thought it was doo-doo. And that's a mistake. So um, try not to make those mistakes, but they really need to fix the drop rate because if they have all these other items that have all these crazy rolls on them that we really don't even know all the rolls and what they can be and it's just the probability factor is everywhere. You just don't know. It's all RNG Jesus. 
you got to be praying to them all the time. They need to have some kind of balancing. I mean, straight up. So that leads me into talking about uh, our sponsor. So for me to continue bringing high quality content and continue to grow, uh, we have taken a sponsor on for some of these videos, MMOXP.com. They offer Diablo some. You can go check them out. Links in the description below. Uh, so y'all appreciate y'all for watching. Going to get back at it. Going to make some more Diablo 4 videos. Uh, I'm not trying to be negative and turn y'all off to the to the deal and all to the game, but I uh, just want to prepare you that there is uh, it is a launch. There are a lot of problems that have to be worked out. It is a typical Blizzard launch where they told you a bunch of, bunch of stuff was going to be in there and it ain't in there. And, um, you know, the big one for me was the uh, the item. You can find an item at level at level 50 that'll carry you all the way to 73. And, and the stuff that you found at 50 was item locked until level 60. So they, they said that the item scaled to, you could be a level 40 something and find an item that could carry you all the way. And that just wasn't true. So, uh, just typical. And you know, I just wanted to share some, some stuff that I found about it. And, um, but anyway, I appreciate y'all hit like hit subscribe for more hog content. We'll see you next time.